Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. It was back in late 2019 when there was a rage on fitness trackers that doubled as really advanced health bands. That saw the launch of new devices that could do blood oxygen, Lorenz scatter plots, uh, even sleep apnea monitoring, and it would vibrate in the middle of the night to wake you up if you were having a an attack, a, a sleep apnea moment. Uh, well, COVID came, and we haven't seen anything like that in a product release for a long time until now. And we're going to have a wave of these. This is one of the first that we're going to be taking a look at that does all of the stuff we talked about before, and maybe even a little bit more. What did I just unbox? It's called a... Uh, Y91, that's the brand name of this basic looking fitness band, but it does ECG, PPG, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, and IP68 water resistance, all of it. For about $36, maybe a little less if I can get you a good coupon, so check the buying link from Banggood in the show notes for that, and we'll see what we can do for you. Going over briefly the overall specs for it, um, you'll find as you review all of this, and I won't go into a lot of detail, that um, it basically lines up almost exactly with up until now what I con considered the gold standard of these devices, which was the uh, the Kronos Blade, uh, Spoven Blade, the Spoven Blade Fitness Band. Um, talked a lot about that. Whenever anybody would ask me about it, I would tell them that's the one I recommend. Here's a picture of it from the old eBay link, and they're not available over there anymore. Uh, but when you look at the review of it, you see it's still, I believe, available directly from the uh, Kronos Blade website. Uh, it's a bit more, and it has a few more features to it. It, but I want to compare the two of these today as we actually review the uh, Y91 because, uh, man, they are almost identical. Really, they really are. The module is this cute little thing here. It comes without the bands on and a little tag that shows you how to put the straps on it and where to charge it. It charges from the band itself. The Spoven Blade did exactly the same thing. You've got a single plate on the back here now and a plate in the front for doing the ECG analysis. So there's a bit of hardware shifting and you got the diodes and stuff in here. So let's take this thing apart and show you that you just simply take the strap end of it here and the bottom end of it here. And if I'm lucky, I got it right. Uh, that's the bottom part of it. And it goes on your wrist just like that. Simple as can be to turn it on. You simply press and hold the button, give it a couple of seconds, and it launches into a web uh, a website, into its first watch face. Uh, not all that bright. We may be able to bright, uh, adjust the brightness somewhat, but it's really more of a device you're going to use at night. That's all there is in the package except the overall instructions. English is the first one, and I do want to show you this because you may definitely want to come back and look at it in freeze frame. It's tethering to the uh, same app, the H-Band app, uh, and I got a little story on that as we go through the pages. H-Band, then it launched as H-Band 2, and ironically, they kept going back and forth and improving one and then the other and uh, leapfrogging each other. The H-Band and the H-Band 2 apps are basically identical. I think H-Band is a little bit more advanced, and they did drop the H-Band uh, 2 finally from the Google Play Store, so you can't get it there anymore. The only thing you can get is H-Band. But Uncle Tix here has a whole bunch of watches, and I like to keep them all paired and tethered. And so I kept a copy of the H-Band 2, and sure enough, it will uh, synchronize separately from the H-Band. And then we're into other languages. And that's actually what we're going to do today, because I want to be able to show you the Spoven Blade next to the Y91 in terms of uh, last night's sleep information. So let me bring all that over, and we'll start talking about it. All right, here they both are, the Spoven Blade and the Y91 on fast uh, shutoff of the screens. They look somewhat similar, 
The Spoven Blade, got to admit, is a bigger overall watch. It protrudes out a little deeper. Notice it's got two plates and the same diode complement in the, in the back of it. This one has one. Um, and there's a new factor I want to tell you about. This is called the shock factor, and it's courtesy of Mrs. Tix. <laughs> I haven't talked about this before, but it, it actually is a factor if you have a partner you sleep with. What's the shock factor if you have a device on your wrist and you roll over and it, it wiggles a little bit and a bright red or green light flashes in their eyes while they're asleep? That's the shock factor. On a scale of one to five, this would be a one. It's down, down at the lowest level. Something about it, when you wear it and you wear it tight, it does not, you see how it protrudes out the bottom? It does not emit any extra light. It doesn't wiggle. Um, you could even bend your wrist. I don't get any light flashing from this. But last night when I tried wearing both of these and, oh, Mrs. Tix is a great wife. She just lets me bring my toys. Every night I'm wearing a different toy to bed, you know, obviously trying to get sleep data for you guys. Um, and they do different things. And a lot of times they're really annoying. The watches especially, they just, they glow. I mean, the whole room lights up from a bright green light. This one is annoying. It, it doesn't contour properly. And even when you have it super tight on your wrist, somehow the light escapes. So that's a drawback from this one, I find, compared to the Spoven uh, blade. This one is really seamlessly holds its its character uh, at, at night and doesn't uh, doesn't emit this one does and they both use the green and the red diodes depending on what they're measuring at night okay the app i want to show you h band and h band 2 uh h band i already synchronized to last night's spoven uh, blade information. It comes in called the e-watch and I got uh, some sleep analysis and you've seen all this stuff before in the app. I've got some uh, heart rate basic information that I did a little bit just for a few hours last night, but I wanted to capture some things. There's some blood pressure. There's the blood oxygen stuff and this one didn't capture any uh, apnea events, but you see the blood oxygen going up and down and up and down and cycling over here. And then, of course, um, heart rate variability, which is where we get the Lorenz scatter diagram and, of course, your HRV information there and what the patterns mean. If I would have run it more hours... Uh, but it, it really did annoy Mrs. Tick, so they both came off. It, it would be more dots on here, though. It, it accumulates dots over time. So that's what's going on on H-Band. And H-Band 2 now has been set up uh, for the uh, Y91. And we're going to connect to that one. I refresh it. And we look for the Y91 as it flies around here. Come back in here. Okay, now it's the closest. Usually the closest band to your phone is, if you have a bunch of them like this, it's going to give it the strongest signal. There it goes. we got our connection. We do the pairing. It reads the data. And it's going to populate this with the same basic window of time of, uh, of app data. And we'll take a quick look at the two of them together. Okay, there we go. I've got a, a little sleep pattern that came in here. That's what this sleep looks like. Uh, broken down, it was only a couple of hours, two and a half hours of wearing all of, uh, both of them. Got some heart rate data, blood pressure again. Here's some blood oxygen. Now notice this, and I noticed this, uh, the new one, um, which is on my left wrist, I got two apnea events, one of which triggered the alarm. And sure enough, it woke me up um, and I gasped for air. So it definitely is working well. And it may even be more sensitive uh, than this one. But this one was on my right arm. I can't really attest with one test case as to if there's a difference here. This picked up zero. This picked up two. And it has a much uh, more pronounced uh movement in the, in the change of the blood oxygen coming from this. The overall blood oxygen concentration, I'm going to run through this here and show it to you. And we're going to switch over here and run through all of that uh, on here as well. Notice how the pattern is different. 
And these are the numbers that it came up with here. Go back and forth on the video if you want to compare them uh, directly. Um, now, that scatter diagram from the new Y91 is here. And here's the data coming from that one. Okay, let's see how they're developing. Similar, it should be identical on the same person on two different arms, blood oxygen, you know, I wouldn't expect much of a difference. But what I'm getting at is the overall um, way these things both work in the app is the same. The ECG is the same. Now, again, you got to go in here and you've got to trigger starting a test and you, you hold the, uh, the plate down. And at the end of the video, I'll do that on each of them. Since this one has only one plate on the back, this has two. Let's take a look at how similar these guys are and what some of the differences are as well. They have the twist your wrist to see the time and they got a small selection of different watch faces. But one thing you'll notice when I touch here on the Spoven blade and I touch again, it says press to unlock. If I accidentally touch this, it immediately goes back off. That is great. I haven't seen that on any other device. The only way to get in is to press long and wait, and then, and only then, does it open up. Then it proceeds just like this one does and goes screen after screen into each of the screens, and they are 100% identical. Last night's sleep time, then blood uh, oxygen, then the ECG, slightly different symbology, and then look at this one. It has something different. This is a special entry for a chest strap. Yep, this one you can attach to a chest strap and get continuous ECG, which is different than the ECG test you get here. That is not on this one, and I hope it'll stay on for a second because then it goes over to there, there's the ECG, and now you get into the fitness stuff, the power off, and you're back to the watch faces. And those ones you could go into like fitness, they're identical in the fitnesses. So how come this one has that press and hold to unlock it after it's been off for a few minutes? It all has to do with the app. So we come back in here. H band is the one that right now is tethered to this one. And it doesn't matter. I could switch it either way. I go over here. I go to E watch, which is this woven blade. I come all the way down to switch settings. And down at the very bottom, long press to unlock is an option. Now, I come over to the H band too. Or H band, if I had these paired the other way, it is actually unit specific. I come down here to switch settings. And that's not there. So that ability to press and have the unlock show up is only on the Spoven blade. However, um, this one, you can just cycle right through. Now you can turn it off and this will work the same way, but I gotta tell you, having accidentally woken this one up with that feature off in the middle of the night uh, and you have to toggle all the way around again, it's really frustrating. So great addition to this one. I wish it were on this one, but it's not. Also, the uh, if you think you're going to use it, the ability to hook this thing up to a chest strap and get an ECG and have that option listed on here and tethered here uh, is an enhancement to this one as well. So if you want to spend the extra money for something that's going to, you know, not leak light out at night and you have all the features I just showed you, the Spoven Blade works for a little bit less money, slimmer, trimmer, but does exactly the same thing. We've got... Um, the brand new Y91. All right, now let's take a look at what the ECG charts look like from both of them. Okay, got the Spoven blade on, got it nice and wet, got my finger wet. We are in the H-Band app. I'm gonna start testing and say go. Whoops, it double touched it, there we go. And let it begin. Now, in a moment, you should start to see the ECG chart pick up. I'm wearing it on my left arm. There is no option with either of these bands or the app to put it on your right arm. And when you do it with it on the right arm, those tall peaks you see there, 
they go down. It's like the whole thing is upside down. So for those of you who know ECG chart and what they should look like, check this out. What I tend to look like is, look at is noise, noise in between the big tall spikes and whether there's those smaller waves that are in there that uh, seem to make sense. I did a confirm and I've got the ECG heart rate, QT interval and HRV. Now we're going to switch bands. Okay, Y91 here, switching from H band to H band 2, start test, start the button, hold the electrode. And again now, everything is the same, just a different band and a different app. This one, remember now, has one electrode on the back, not two. And of course, one electrode on the front that we have to touch. But check out the waveform, you see in that there? I am not an expert on this. I could conjure an opinion. They look pretty much the same. The big spikes were seem to be a little taller, but then they get a little shorter. It's got that bit first hump after the big one. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I do have heart rate, QT interval, and heart rate variability. If you're medically focused or you're showing this to your doctor and saying, which one is better? Um, now you have two different ECG charts that you can kind of compare back and forth. That's the uh, Spoven Blade. That's the Y91. Either one, to me, looks like they'll do the job. They both appear to be uh, using the same circuitry and everything. Um, so it's really just your choice. And your choice is available for the uh, Y91. Uh, you can pick it up directly from Banggood right now if you want to. Use the uh, link in the show notes and you'll come up with this buying page. We hopefully have a discount coupon that you can apply and uh, that should get you going. Uh, they both have the red diode technology and infrared. By the way, I don't think we mentioned that, but you see how there's four of these in here. Two of them were green. You got a minute? I know you do. You like this stuff. Um, I, I get comments on this, so that's why I want to bring it up. I'm going to come over here to heart rate. And you see, I got a green diode lighting up down there. I come over here to blood pressure, same thing. I come over here to blood oxygen. And I got two red diodes that are lit up. Okay. And this other one here didn't light up at all. Likely that is an infrared diode. I got two plates back here and one in the front. But check this out. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the Y91. Same arrangement. Four diodes, one metal plate. Going to come over here to heart rate. Uh, well, we skipped it, but blood pressure is the same. And wow, let's do it again. Let's get heart rate there. Two green ones. Blood pressure, two green ones on the side. And blood oxygen, where are you? Blood oxygen, do, do. There we go. One red diode up at the top, and probably the one at the bottom is the infrared one. Yeah, completely different layout of electronics in this one. But they run off of basically the same app and do the same thing. What do you know? Oh, also the sleep apnea part doesn't matter which one I talk about come in here go back here get over here to um, your heart rate variability uh, nope your uh, blood oxygen because that's where sleep apnea is remember I had two sleep apnea events with this and um, you can see them the little yellow dots that are down there there happens to be another little thing you may want to consider if sleep apnea is important to you wearing either of these will give you the uh, possibility of being triggered when you're in um, a sleep apnea condition but it samples about once every 10 minutes this one samples once every minute and it's called the O2 Ring. Whoa, it just vibrated and turned on. It's all happy. It's the O2 Ring from Wellu, um, tinyurl.com slash gowellu if you want to take a look at this one. So as you survey all of the different ways of doing your vital signs that are available, uh, check them all out. See what really works best for you. This one also it fits on your finger, your thumb, whatever you want. Um, you wear it at night. It'll vibrate when it gets that apnea thing going on, and it really is just about blood oxygen, and that's all. So 
Um, this could complement these if you want, or these could supplant it. I'd start with these. Um, they're probably less expensive than this is overall. Uh, and if you're not getting apnea reports as frequently as you think you should be, then switch to this one. You saw the red diode there. It does a great job of it. A lot of other Wellu products as well. Whoa, whoa, wait, Mr. Tix, you're forgetting about the W3, identical to these two bands that you introduced us to just a little while ago. It does all of the same basic things with step count, weather added in this one, sleep time, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, the sports are in this one, the ECG, yeah, yeah, same, same thing. You can connect it to the... Uh, you want to see all that? All right. So here's what I did. I slept last night with the W3 on this wrist. And yes, Mrs. Tix let me put the uh, Y91 on my right wrist and sleep. Uh, as far as shock factor, this one's still up there, maybe about a four. Um, this one, I would call it about a one. It's pretty darn good, especially if you wear it tight. You don't get a lot of light shining out of it and disturbing your partner. Well, the Spovian blade is still the best. This one is just a little bit of leakage. This one leaks pretty good, but I do have some that I'd call a five that, I mean, they, you, they're like a flashlight on your wrists. So left arm h-band app right arm with the h-band 2 app let's take a look at the sleep apnea stuff first and the blood oxygen from the w3 we get this kind of a chart pay attention to how it's laying out and i got one apnea event in here and check out all the other kind of information and then switch back over now to the H band 2 and notice less uh, significant data in here. Oh, I guess I touched it. You can touch it anywhere and it'll it'll light up. And and here's the information zero apnea events at this time. Now, I honestly don't know if this is all because it's the H band 2 app instead of the H band, if it's on my right arm instead of my left arm, if it's too tight, if it's too loose. Hard to tell all that stuff, just too many variables. But I will tell you, the W3 gives you a nice overall uh, chart, as does uh, the Spoven Blade and the uh, H-Band, but they are different. We're getting different number of actual apnea events. This didn't go off. Neither one of them went off last night to notify me, so that's, that's interesting. I'm going to come down here now into ECG, and we are in the... Oops, H-band 2. I want to do it on this one. We've already seen that one, um, but we haven't given you the ECG chart coming to you from the W3 for comparison with the other ones. So I'm going to activate it. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to make sure you can see it. Is it bright enough? Ah. Okay, you don't need to see the band because it's not showing anything. I just need to hold really still. Okay, I'm holding still. About five seconds now, it should catch up with that. Ignore all that big stuff there. There we go. There's the legitimate chart. And it looks representative to the other ones. As far as I can tell, there's that little peak that happens before the big peak that's not as obvious in this one. But hey, look how convoluted I am. I'm not in a good position. I'll just say it gives you a genuine ECG chart. I'm not seeing a lot of noise in it. It's comparable to the other two. So baseline is um, any one of the three appears to be able to produce charts that you could use and possibly send to your doctor for analysis. You get your heart rate and your Q T interval and your HRV. And what are the diodes like on the back of this one? Let's take a look. Let's get down to heart rate, two green ones. Blood pressure, two green ones. Blood oxygen, one red one and probably an infrared one down below. Okay, so W3 is definitely for consideration as well. Um, it's, a, it's a nice uh, thing to do the same thing, but in a watch package, the Bakey W3.
All right, we have really talked things over, but folks, this particular video is sponsored for us by Banggood, who brought us this Y91 brand new uh, band. So I want to end with this and invite you over to take a look at anything that they've got. Use this link in the show notes to get you into Banggood and uh, yeah, shop around. I got some more I think from Banggood, too. This is uh, Bakey, Bakey Y91, um, that do some of this kind of stuff coming up as well. So hopefully you subscribe, too. All right, we'll see you again soon.